Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. For today's lesson, we will discuss the Amdas rule. Let's have these number sentences below. So look at the number sentences. So we have 5 times 4 divided by 2 plus 3 minus 6 is equal to n. Then 3 times 5 plus 8 minus 6 divided by 2 is equal to n. Add 55 plus 20 minus 5 times 2 is equal to n. So the questions are, how many operations are there in each number? So ilang operation meron sa mga number na ito? And have you encountered this kind of problem? If you solve this kind of problem, what are you going to do? Are you going to seek assistance or help from your elder siblings or parents? Then why? In order for us to solve the given number sentences, we have to follow the MDAS rule. MDAS stands for the four basic operations in mathematics. And these are multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. In a series of operations, certain rules must be followed to arrive at one specific answer. Here, the MDAS rule must be followed correctly to get the right answer. MDAS rule states that we have to multiply or divide first in order as they come from left to right. Then, we can now proceed with addition or subtraction in order as they come from left to right. So let's apply this MDAS rule to the given number sentences. Let us study the given example. So we have 5 times 4 divided by 2 plus 3 minus 6 is equal to n. So as you notice, all the four basic operations are involved. If the multiplication and division are used in a row, we follow the order of operations from left to right. So uunahin muna natin magmultiply or magdivide bago tayo magproceed sa addition or subtraction. So from the given example, we have to do multiplication first. Okay, applying the MDAS rule, we're going to multiply first. So, mag-start tayo from left to right. So, 5 times 4 is 20. Then, we copy the remaining numbers in the number sentence. So, 20 divided by 2 plus 3 minus 6 is equal to n. Then, after natin mag-multiply, we can now proceed with division. Since 20 is divisible by 2, we can divide them. So, the answer is 10. Then, copy the remaining numbers in the expression. 10 plus 3 minus 6 is equal to n. Then, the second rule, we can now proceed with addition or subtraction. So, add muna tayo. 10 plus 3 is 13 minus 6 is equal to n. So, n is equal to 7. So, the answer from the expression for 5 times 4 divided by 2 plus 3 minus 6 is equal to n is 7. Okay, ulit. Balikan natin ang ating mga ginawa. So, yung 5 times 4. So, inuna natin mag-multiply. 5 times 4 is 20 divided by 2 plus 3 minus 6 is equal to n. Kinopya natin yung mga remaining uh, numbers. Then, pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa division. So, 20 divided by 2 is 10. Then, copy natin ulit yung mga remaining numbers plus 3 minus 6 is equal to n. Then, second rule, we can now proceed with addition or subtraction. So, since uh, addition ang nauna, unahin muna natin mag-add. So, 10 plus 3 is 13. Then, minus 6 is equal to n. And 13 minus 6 is equal to 7. Let's now proceed with the second example. We have 3 times 5 plus 8 minus 6 divided by 2 is equal to n. Again, as you can see, the four basic operations are involved in this expression. 
So applying the MDAS rule, rule number one, we have to perform first the multiplication or division in order from left to right. Then rule number two, we can now proceed with addition or subtraction in order from left to right. So unahin muna natin mag-multiply. Okay, so pwede naman natin pagsabayin ang multiplication or division since pinaghihiwalay sila ng addition and subtraction. Pwede natin silang pagsabayin i-perform. Okay, so let us look at the solution. So, 3 times 5 plus 8 minus 6 divided by 2 is equal to n. So, kung napapansin nyo, pinagsabay kong mag-multiply at mag-divide. Pwede natin nga gawin as long as pinaghihiwalay sila ng addition and subtraction. So, we can perform multiplication and division at the same time. So, 3 times 5 is 15, then copy 8, then minus 3, kasi 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then, pasid na tayo sa addition or subtraction, which is the rule number 2. So, 15 plus 8 is 23, then minus 3 is equal to n. And 23 minus 3 is equal to 20. So, n is equal to 20. And that is the answer for the expression 3 times 5 plus 8 minus 6 divided by 2 is equal to n. Okay, so let us now uh, solve the example number 3, which is 55 plus 20 minus 5 times 2 is equal to n. So from this expression, the operations that are involved are multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So applying the MDAS rule, again, rule number 1, we have to perform first multiplication or division. Since multiplication lang nandito, we will multiply 5 times 2. Okay, so let us study the solution. 55 plus 20 minus 5 times 2 is equal to n. Again, we perform first multiplication. So 5 times 2 is 10. Then cop copy the remaining numbers. 55 plus 20 minus 10 is equal to n. Then proceed with rule number 2. We can perform addition or subtraction. So 55 plus 20 is 25. Then subtract 10 is equal to n. And 75 minus 10 is 65. So the answer for the expression 55 plus 20 minus 5 times 2 is equal to n is 65. I hope that this video lesson will help you in performing series of operations using the MDAS rule. All you have to do is to follow the rule in order for you to arrive at the correct answer. Just keep on practicing because practice will never betray you. That's all for today and I hope you had a good time going over this video lesson. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.